There is a growing population of homeless people in communities all around our state, and the lingering question is how can those communities help them? Yeah, in Biddeford, a woman has started a nonprofit to try to make a difference one person and one day at a time. News Center Maine's Ann Baldridge joins us this morning to tell us about White Butterfly with a Cause. Hi, Ann. Hey, good morning, Lee and Chloe. The woman who started White Butterfly with a Cause says she's seen the encampment on Water Street in Biddeford go from 10 people to now 26. Seeing people struggle in her own community inspired her to help as a way to heal from something she's also struggling with herself. Another day walking the streets of Biddeford with a full wagon down to the encampment. And would you like hot coffee or hot chocolate? This is Tammy Harvison. She's here every day. Uh, breakfast and lunch bags because right. I've got appointments today, so hey. I'm gonna fill you up for both. All right. It doesn't matter how you got here. It's how we can get you out of here is what really matters to me. She saw the unhoused population growing in her hometown and wanted to help in the memory of her daughter. I lost my oldest daughter, Brittany, back in 2016 to a distracted driver in Portland on Forest Ave. Um, she was only 23 years old. And I am a mom of three, and I taught my children very young to give back and to help. Doing what she would tell her daughters to do. From now on, when you want coffee or hot chocolate, you give me this, and I'll fill this up for you every day. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And going that extra mile, helping them find jobs and housing. I can connect you with Maine Works. This is what we do. This is why we love you all. Yeah. It's helping individuals like Thomas E. Well, who has been living at the encampment for a year now, after his home was foreclosed on. We're cold all night long. We have people fighting all night long. You don't really sleep. You you sleep more than I open, basically. Literally, it feels like you're in prison. That's how I can say it. I've been to prison. I know how it is. Literally, it feels like you're in prison. He's not alone. Another couple says they were evicted from their apartment after a roommate wasn't paying rent for months. We're, we've never been homeless in our life, ever, ever, ever. So it's really, really hard on us. Tammy and city officials are working to do all they can do to help. We're celebrating every success. We had a success yesterday. We did place an individual um, in a group home. It's the least that we can do. I'm blessed to be able to do this. Walking away with an empty wagon till they come back with dinner. Like to donate to Tammy and the White Butterfly with a cause. You can go to their Facebook page where they have a Venmo and registry to collect donations. In the studio this morning, I'm Ann Baldrige, New Center, Maine.